Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kelly, and I'm here with another opinionated design. Do you guys remember Heidi Montag from MTV's The Hills? She married Spencer Pratt. Kind of a whole mess on that show, right? The way they portrayed her. I don't know her in real life, so I can't say she's a mess in real life. But like, Heidi on The Hills was a mess. Well, earlier this week, she had shared a new ad and received a lot of backlash. Like, a lot, a lot of backlash. Rightfully so. Um, and the new ad, <clears throat> excuse me, the new ad was for single use jeans, meaning exactly that single use jeans, like buy them, wear them once, toss them away. Like they're, you know, I mean, disposable. Um, and of course, tons of backlash because people were like, that's really wasteful. Like, what are you doing? I can't believe you're promoting this kind of a product with like that kind of waste. And the single use jeans were called singles with the I being replaced by the number one because you wear them one time. And on the website for the singles, they stated, and I quote, the beauty of singles is that you only wear them once. When you're done with them, you throw them away and you wear a new pair. It's that simple. Which, I mean, sounds so ridiculous, right? That's because it is. On Thursday, the 14th, the whole thing was revealed as a joke. A prank meant to draw attention to the environmental harm that is wreaked by single-use plastic bottles. Um, then, um, once it was revealed, it revealed as, as a prank, as a joke, Heidi did put out a statement. And she said, single-use jeans are as stupid as the single-use plastic bottles polluting our oceans. I'm partnering with Oceana to ask soft drink companies to stop using single-use plastics and switch to refillable bottles. Join our refill again movement. Um, and yeah, kind of a, a, a uh, an odd way, I guess. Um, but not necessarily ineffective, in my opinion. So Oceana did elaborate a little bit further on this, on the purpose of the prank, on the purpose of the joke, kind of what they were thinking. And they said, you know, how could you, how could you get a world that is overwhelmed with and used to single use plastic bottles to see how much more sense that it would make to use or switch to refillables? You know, and that was the question they asked themselves. And so their team or, you know, I mean, whatever brainstorming they had, the solution was by launching this new, you know, fake, but not fake dust at the time it was released, this new product that shows just how bad of an idea it would be to use something only one time that's actually meant or made to last a long time. And I kind of think it was a genius move. Um, I'm not normally a big fan of pranks or jokes, but it definitely got people's attention. They completely saw how single-use jeans are such a waste. Um, and I think that's a it was a good way to get people to to see like, oh wait, you know what? Single-use plastic is kind of the same. It's still a big waste. Um, because I think for many people, we've grown up with single-use plastic. Like I grew up hearing about reduce, reuse, recycle, all that stuff. And yet I'd say, I don't have like an accurate percentage. I'm just guessing here. Um, 90 plus percent of like drinks that you're going to find at either a gas station, a convenience store, anything like that, like you want to drink is, is in single use plastic. They're not in bottles that are refillable. They're not in glass. It's single use plastic and it hasn't changed. Um, so I think that this was a good way to get people to be like, okay, wait, yeah, because with jeans, it obviously, obviously was like, what, why would you spend 30, 40 bucks on a pair of jeans to wear them one time to throw them away? And I get it. Single use plastic bottles aren't that expensive, but still such a waste. Now per a uh, press release that Oceana put out, they said that there is up to 34 billion 
with a B, 34 billion plastic bottles become marine pollution every year. 34 a year? 34 billion? You guys, that's a lot. Now, only 9% of all plastic waste per year it, or plastic waste produced has been recycled um, ever. 9% of all plastic waste ever produced has been recycled in, in, in the history of plastic waste. 9%? What? That, that number seems crazy low, but that's what they said in their press release. And that's really sad because again, I grew up in a time where they very much pushed the idea of environment and, and maintaining the environment, saving the environment by recycling, reduce things, reuse things. And it was drilled into to my head as a kid all through schooling. I think it was drilled into my kid's head. Um, and I would think that it's probably that way around much of the world or at least America. That's all I can speak of. And so to only have 9% of the plastic waste that was ever produced have been recycled, we got a big problem on our hands. Now, Oceana did find that if, if there was just a 10% increase in refillables, which the refillables can be used 20 to 50 times each. A 10% increase in those would take as many as 7.6 billion single-use plastic bottles out of the oceans every year. Just a 10% increase. Like we've only ever recycled as a, as a planet, right? 9% of the plastic waste ever produced. Um, with just a 10% increase in these refillables, we can greatly reduce the amount of pollution that goes into our oceans, um, which is so crucial and important. So yeah. And if you guys, you know, want to show your support for the refill again movement, if this is something that you care about, there is a petition on Oceana's website. I will have it linked. It is linked in the description for you. Um, if you're interested in clicking on that and signing the petition, in hopes to, you know, get some of these companies to switch to refillables so that we aren't using the single use plastic and we aren't basically destroying the planet and the oceans and all the amazing marine life that calls the ocean home. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that the joke was a good way to get people thinking? Do you think they could have done it in another way? Um, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you'd like. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.